Hey YouTube, it's me, your boy V3, back with another. What are we doing? Graphic <laughs> novel uh, review video. Uh, today, Forever Evil, an event book from DC, uh, the second, actually the first line wide event for New 52, technically, I think. It was massive. Because Trinity War wasn't line wide, it was just Justice League stuff. But this was line wide. It's a doozy. Yeah. We had Villains Month during this. They replaced all the regular titles except for Justice League. Actually, we still had we had some for Justice League, too, but we got a bunch of villain one-shots. Okay. About villains from those titles and stuff. I like it. The those villains are always more interesting than the heroes, in my opinion. They had 3D covers that, uh, that moved. That Sweet. Dope. So, yeah, Forever Evil. All the heroes, they're gone. X came. He gave them to him. Knock, knock. They opened up the door. It was real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stainless steel. Motherfucker. <laughs> and, uh... With the heroes gone, except Batman, because they need him to sell as many books as possible. Of course, he is. I mean, <laughs> merchandising king right there. Yeah, villains have to step up to stop the crime syndicate. syndicate. Whew. Don't you ever speak while I'm speaking. I'm just Excuse kidding. Me. I'm messing with you. <laughs> About the time you pitched in. <laughs> trying to. If you're on a roll, I'm not going to stop you. And, uh... Yeah, he's going to start dying again. <coughs> I got rid of my last coffin. There's a new coffin now. <laughs> it doesn't change. You start coughing on video. And uh, most of the villains just join up with the crime syndicate because they're like, screw it. We're going to chill out. But a and lot the of them for a reason. aren't about that. Lex Luthor, he's like, nah. <laughs> nah, fam. I like, my ego's I not like going to allow that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I need people to worship me. Yeah. And you, you're going to like mess up all the people. I'm not going to. I don't get my worship. I'm not going to let these aliens from another dimension talk down to me. He does have a problem with aliens, doesn't he? Huh. Just yeah, super-powered ones. <laughs> so all of them. Yeah, all of them in DC's continuity anyways, I guess. So yeah, Lex Luthor and then Captain Cold doesn't want to nope. hook up with him because he's, he's just a... He's just, he, doesn't take, he doesn't want to take orders <laughs> from anybody either. He's kind of got that complex that he wants to... Yeah, he doesn't like to play with the team. Well, he loves to play with the team. His whole thing is playing with the team. Well, Idiot, you fucking casual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I see what I see what you mean though. He doesn't. He's he's just too low level. Yeah. He just wants to rob banks. He doesn't yeah. want to because they ordered. He him just to wants do, to pay it. They ordered him to level his hometown. He was like, no, <laughs> millions of people live there. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. So he just, he just wants to pay that. Yeah, you know, Deathstorm is powering right after him, and then. Lex Luthor let out his Bizarro. Yeah. So that was working for Lex. Black Manta didn't want to work for them. Good design for Bizarro, them. too. Yeah, I, I like that look. I really like that Bizarro design. Me, too. Probably my favorite Bizarro. Except for Superman animated series Bizarro. He's pretty great. My favorite Bizarro look is definitely. Yeah, Bizarro. I was about to say, the most respectful Bizarro look we have right here in our hands, but the Superman animated is classic. And then Justice League, all that good stuff. Love it. But, like, all these different villains that don't want to work with him. Black Adam, because he kind of sees himself as, as a hero. Anyways. Yeah, as a liberator, if nothing else. Yeah, and then uh, Black Manta, because mm -hmm. he thinks they killed Aquaman. He was like, no, nah. that was my job. Now I have to kill all you guys. <laughs> it really reminds me of a lot of the um, Young Justice stuff. No, you, weren't, you had to ask my permission to kill her. <laughs> you had to ask my permission to kill that was Arthur. It was Sports Master. Sports Master. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Spoilers! Uh, gelling. All, all kinds of different baddies. And then they captured Nightwing, the crime syndicate did. And unmasked, unmasked him. him on TV. International TV. Whew. So everyone knew Dick Richard. Grayson was... Poor Richard Grayson. Yeah. They referred to him as Richard. All the villains do anyways. And yeah. I found that just kind of bothersome for some reason. And then only one person figured out Bruce Wayne was Batman after that somehow. <laughs> Lex Luthor. Yeah, go figure. Yeah, so... It's, just, it's mostly this big group of villains, also with Batman, running around, uh, trying to stop the crime syndicate. And it's extra ace. It's dope. Uh, they, they get Sinestro on their side by mm -hmm. kind of psychologying him into working with them. They pay Deathstroke after they take down the secret society. Mm -hmm. So they just pay him to betray the crime syndicate. Yeah, he's a mercenary. That's what he does. Yeah. And... 
there's, you know, they just travel, big fights. They go to free Nightwing from the crashed watchtower that mm. I keep wanting to say Trigon, but it's not Trigon. Um, Despero. Despero brings it down, and that's where the crime syndicate's chilling out with Grid and etc. Uh, Cyborg stops Grid. That's in a, our next graphic novel yep. review, though. Oh, so awesome. That's pretty cool. I love Cyborg. Your boy. My boy! Who got uh, really kicked around. Uh, he, he had it rough. He did. That poor guy. In this one. He only, he only appears for a short little time. But he got um, de exoskeleton is how I like to refer to it. He's had it rough since his inception. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. While they're fighting the crime syndicate, they free Earth-3 Alexander Luthor, mm -hmm. who has the power to take other people's powers. Which is trippy and terrifying. It's pretty awesome. And it turns out he's the one that impregnated Superwoman. Superwoman was running around like, Ultraman, oh, this it's is your, your baby. baby. It, oh, Owlman, this is actually your baby. You should overthrow Ultraman. God, Didn't really man. fool Owlman, though. He knew. He knew whose baby it was. But he wants that baby. Yeah, he's going to take that baby. He needs that baby. He needs that baby. He needs that baby. Needs that baby. The baby. Uh. So, yeah. They're all fighting Alexander Luther. They beat him in a cool, clever way. They saved Superman's life because he had Which kryptonite poisoning. Which was Lex's job. Lex <laughs> saved him. They reveal the anti-monitor from Dark Side da, da. War. Very cool. Dark Side War is pretty awesome, too. We'll get to that at some point also. But yeah, it's mostly just villains, fighting villains. Lex Luthor has a kind of change of heart at the end of this. Yeah, it's, we were discussing it earlier, and it's more like what you said, where he kind of realizes that he can get what he wants better yeah. through being the hero instead of the... He just wants everyone to think he's the best ever. And yeah. he thought that by saving them from Superman, he'd get that. And then he was like, I'll just save them from other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, just hop into that whole Justice League thing. They like those guys pretty well. Yeah, so... Forever yeah. Evil. You like it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. My problem is, as a, as a new comic book reader, I have a hard time with these cross, you know, Keeping lines. Keeping track with... What's yeah. going on? Oh my word. I think I actually even forgot which order I was supposed to read them in and read them in the wrong order originally. So I, I started... <laughs> what order did you read them in? Um, I think I went straight to um, 5 and 6. Oh. I think I attempted to do, go straight into back in the Justice League title. Got like a few pages and was like, what the... is going on? Yeah, so you, I had to go back. So it was... Yeah, you don't know what's happening in Volume 5 if you're not reading not this. Not reading that. Yeah, no. I, I made that mistake. I, I mean, I got maybe a quarter of the way through it before I was like, I fucking missed something. I mean, when I bring these to you, I stack them up in the reading order for you. Well, there was also a party here a couple, of week, a couple of weeks ago. My parents kind of came through. I wasn't invited? Through. Yeah, I think it was a really good, like, change-up of the type of comics you've been oh, reading. Yeah. Just getting to really just see villains do everything. In every title, it was all about the villains. The villains except for Justice League, which was all about Cyborg. I will always hold that I think villains are far more fascinating. Good guys are, you know, for the most part, run of the mill. Your anti-heroes are more entertaining, of course. And, you know, of course, you know, here's your kind of why you show up. But the villains are what keep you there. They're the interesting parts. Yeah, they kind of have to be. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> they have to be. Especially in DC, where their, their conflict is always more internal about staying a hero and always being a hero and pooping like a hero and well, now, breathing like... Well, yeah. now it is... At this point, it wasn't. At no, this no. point, it's almost hard to tell the difference. <laughs> Fair. Everyone was sad. Was and therefore, so I was sad. It, it, this new... Just Justice League New 52 was so dark. I'm so. glad Action Comics finally ended New 52. It's over. I don't remember which issue it was, but it's done. Superman and they did something with the... I don't know. <laughs> this was a little off topic, but like there, you know, honestly, there's not a whole lot to say about Forever Evil. There's plenty to say, and then at the same time, it's like it's villains fighting villains. That's just dope. <laughs> I mean, That's just where, dope. <laughs> what more do you really need to say? And it's a pretty, for the most part, well-contained event. It is. Like you could just read this and, and know what's going on. Get it for the most part, yeah. Like Cyborg shows up in the end, and you're like, "What's he been doing?" I mean, and, and, yeah. I mean, there's that scene where you know, Batman and Catwoman are, you know, bringing his ravaged remains minus exoskeleton, which is like seventy percent of him. All you have to do is read the one issue of Justice League before this. Yeah, and you're good to go. And you're and you're you're ace, you're yeah, yeah. chief. Absolutely. You're chief queen. Now suck this beat. No. <laughs> I like no. the rhyme. Follow me on SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, 
You got anything else to say, big uh, boy? Not really, honestly. Um, yeah. Sure, there you go. Um, Buddy. Honestly, uh, of course, the art was fantastic and thoroughly enjoyable. Um, that's the one thing, I guess, about the New 52, even if it is darker. I do like some of the grittier, you know, looks. artistry and some of the grittier looks. and I, I, That does appeal to me. Um, so, art, enjoyable. You talked about everything on the story, though. And really, what more is there to say mm -hmm. beyond villains fighting villains? Oh, there's, um, they have to fake Dick Grayson's death now. So people won't so keep people looking into stuff. For him, yeah. But you know, I I think the because there was a like a Dick Grayson agent of Spiral thing, and Spiral's like a villain thing, but he was undercover or something. I didn't read it. I didn't. but I recently heard it was very good. I'm never gonna read it because it doesn't sound like something I would want to read. It's more of a spy book I think than it is a uh, superhero book, which is fine. Yeah, but yeah. I'd read a spy book, but not. That spot. <laughs> Fair enough. I do want to read the Rebirth Night one, though. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm really excited for all the Rebirth stuff. Yeah, Papa got to see that. Papa got to read that. I'm not going to refer to you as Papa. That's fine. That's cool. But, um, yeah, I mean, you really summed it up pretty well. Highly enjoyable. Highly recommend it. Make sure you know the context. Yeah. At least for me, that was really helpful. Don't skip this. You have to have this if you're going to do Justice League. I remember when this came out, because a friend of mine and I were reading the issues of Trinity War. Ooh. Well, he was buying when I was just reading his. And he Yo, bought mooch. every single tie-in. Well, I was letting him read all my New 52 Batman stuff at the time. So Okay, we'll, we'll exchange favors. I see how it is. Yeah. <laughs> he bought every single tie-in. Even the ones that weren't technically tie-ins, that were just kind of setting up for it beforehand. He got wow. every single thing. And then as soon as it ended, a line-wide event started. And he was like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought every single Trinity War comic possible. And then this. And then this hit. So he has every issue of the regular Forever Evil title. And the one-shot Villains Months for the title he was reading. But he hasn't even read them yet. He can't even look at them. Because he's so pissed about the line-wide. He's like, I can't even look at them. I can't, I can't even blame him. I really I can't even. So he hasn't, but he hasn't read him. I told him I'd lend him this if he just didn't want to look at him. He's like, that's fine. <laughs> but you know, I, really, I, I'm looking for something to say more about this, and I got nothing. It's just, it's awesome. I hope Bizarro comes back soon. Me too. But yeah, the main fun. thing this really does is set up a bunch for Dark Side War. Oh, yeah. Which is coming, and makes Lex Luthor a hero type. Um, yeah, he does have an actual change of heart. Like, he's not just faking, because he was going to... Well, he, uh, they lasso of truth him. They did lasso of truth him two volumes from now. No, no, not even two. It's the next one. No, it's not. Because yeah. the next one's just happening at the same time this is, and then it's volume six, the Amazo oh, okay. stuff. That's not two ahead. It's one ahead. Fucking cash. <laughs> one, two. Oh, man. It's two books. In case y'all didn't know, I'm casual. <laughs> I think I, I think they get it. Alright. Mm. No more while I can test the will of B3. But yeah, that's it. Yeah. I guess. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the comments in the description below. Facebook, Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I'm very funny. I swear. Did you see my tweet where I was like, uh, the ladies call me Mr. Mistopheles because I am what I eat? Old Pretty scene. good. I, I, I don't, I'm not on Twitter. Shit, right. Anyways, yeah. that's it. Thank you all once again. We'll be right back with Justice League Volume 5, Forever Heroes. And we're Forever Zeroes.